Technology has been evolving for decades. Computers can now help students as well as teachers in the classroom. There is, however, a potential downside, Isabella Coppola explains. Technology use in school has become as common as paper and pencil. Here at Washington Park School, every student receives a laptop and teachers incorporate smart boards to help with their instruction. Technology, however, may have unattended negative consequences. Some students find it helpful while others recognize the distraction. Do computers help you with your studies in and out of school? Please explain why. Uh, I didn't think uh, computers do help me. You know, sometimes when I'm not feeling like writing, they can really help me. So if I'm tired, my hands are tired, I can just type. Also, it allows me to share my assignment at any time, whether it's at 2 in the morning or 5 in the night. I think that they do definitely help um, with my studies in and out of school. Like, when I'm out of school, it's really easy to just log on to like OneNote or like Word and continue my work. And in school, it's the same thing. It's really easy, and I really like the computers. Many students have not only been using the computers for their studies in and out of school, but educational apps as well. Well, I do like the Sticky Notes app. It's kind of unknown, but uh, if I don't want to write in my planner, I just write down my homework for the day. And also, other apps are probably Office 365. You know, we, we use our Word, our OneNote, Excel, PowerPoint, etc. Definitely Word and OneNote. Um, OneNote is really good. Uh, the teachers can make comments on like the side of my um, my pages, and uh, I can work on all my work, and it's really easy to use. I think it's OneNote and Outlook because I'm able to text teachers and email them. Probably OneNote and Outlook. Um, OneNote, it's easy. It helps me keep, uh, keeping like organized and stuff. It's where all my assignments are for most of my classes. And Outlook because I get to send um, text messages to my teachers about you know upcoming assignments or assignments that I've missed. Although computers can be entertaining, they can also cause distractions to students doing work. I, I think I've had my fair share of going on websites I'm not supposed to, going on games. But I don't think they're a distraction, I think they're unnecessary. You know, like a hundred years in the past, we, we've just been using on, we've been using paper, chalkboards. So I think as the, the turn of the century, I think with technology uh, developing, the school system and curriculum needs to develop. So yeah, I do think that, um, the, even though the computers are uh, distracting sometimes, they also are very necessary. Kids do go on websites that they're not supposed to and go on games. Um, and that's like kind of like the downside of having computers. But then again, it's also like really good for school purposes. And it's really good um, for uh, videos if you need to watch and just work in general. Yeah, they go on uh, websites, but I don't think it's a big distraction but it would be good if they don't and start listening. Yeah, a lot of students do go on other websites, like all the students around me, I always see them, you know, if they're like on some other website that a teacher would tell them not to be. But they are like really, they're necessary because it's easier to do stuff on a computer. And I feel like um, a lot of people at Washington Park like prefer to have a computer most of the time. I find a lot of students, when I'm in class, I do find them on different websites playing games when they're not supposed to. But I do find computers necessary when doing their work. From a teacher's point of view, there are also advantages and disadvantages. Technology has become a great, great advantage in the classrooms over the last several years especially. For me, getting my curriculum together, my lesson plans, posting work online, it gives me the opportunity to put great videos, educational videos, in addition to making different presentations on different platforms like PowerPoint or Sway so that the students have a nice variety of different sources to go to to learn their information in addition to the teaching that I do. And from the student's standpoint, it's a wonderful tool for them to do research when they're doing research papers for me. I do like the students to use the technology, uh, preferably every day or every other day for a variety of different advantages. However, there is an advantage to students using paper and pencils as well. First of all, um, it really gives students the opportunity to work really hard with their editing and their proofreading skills. So instead of the computer doing the corrections for them or highlighting different mistakes with grammar and spelling and punctuation, students when they're working on paper have to do their own editing. What are the advantages and disadvantages of technology? Well, there are so many different apps um, that the students can use and that's the great thing about technology in which the students can have variety um, within the lessons, 
when they go on it, they can see the first thing that I want is the homework. Oftentimes, there are students that get sidetracked and they, they get distracted. They're like, oh, let me see if I search this. Or sometimes when you're using technology, you may get a pop-up. But that's not to say that if it's something that you're not supposed to be on, that you're not just going to exit out and continue working on what you need to. But there are students that actually know so much about technology, it could be a distraction or it could be an advantage. It depends on how maturely they use it. Can you give us an example of how you would use this in a lesson? Yes. Um, in the past, I needed to have all my windows open, and now I no, long, no longer need to do that because if I wanted the kids to see what was the homework from yesterday, I can open up the link and then it will pop up for them and show them the digital copy. Not to mention that I also have paper copies available for those students that perhaps would prefer that. But for the most part, it is good to have um, the choices of everything else. I have videos that I pre-recorded that the students have access to. So it's right at their fingertip. Um, so I, don't, I no longer have to play a video for the whole class. They can go at their own pace. Um, they have the Padlet for collaboration, which even a student that's quarantined at home can participate because it is live. So that's a great advantage. Despite the way students and teachers use technology every day, they might not be as necessary as we think. Overall, technology is a great tool, but how to use it correctly is an issue we face daily. Isabella Coppola, TBN.